Yo, what is up guys? It's Highcross, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my optimized NVIDIA control panel settings for Fortnite. These are the best settings in my opinion, um, and I'm actually making this video because a few of you guys actually commented this, uh, saying that you wanted to see my NVIDIA control panel settings and what are the best settings for Fortnite. So yeah, in this video, I'm just going to show you guys that, and let's get right into it. All right, boys, so first we're going to start off on our desktop. We're going to right click and click NVIDIA control panel and it should shortly pop up on our screen here. There it is. And we're first going to start off with adjust image settings with preview. So we're going to start up at the very top here. And the very first thing we're going to do is make sure that use my preference emphasizing, make sure this is bubbled in. And a lot of you guys are going to have this dial actually in the middle or all the way over to quality. So make sure this is all the way over to performance and hit apply. And basically all this is going to do is make your game look not as nice uh, as it's going to emphasize performance over better looks, uh, like such as the quality in game and stuff. So you definitely want that over in performance. Next up, we are going to head over to manage 3D settings. And I'm simply just going to take you guys through this whole list of settings. I have already optimized all this because uh, I, I went through it, tried to optimize everything for Fortnite. So if you guys want, you guys can just look at what I have, copy it for your own. If you find that you don't like something, you could always go back and change it. But this is just going to be really brief, really quick going over my settings. So image scaling, I have turned off, ambient occlusion off, anti anastrophic filtering off, anti-aliasizing, FXAA off anti-aliasing gamma correction I have on, anti-aliasing mode off, background application max frame rate, we're going to have this off, CUDA GPUs, make sure this is on all for you guys, DSR factors I have off, low latency mode, this is a very, uh, very important one for you guys, I actually have it on ultra, most of you guys are actually going to have this on off or on, I would definitely recommend putting out an Ultra as Ultra has been proven to give a better performance in game. So make sure you keep that on Ultra. Max frame rate we have off. We don't want to cap our frame rate or anything. Monitor technology. Most of you guys aren't going to have this, but mine's just on G Sync. Multi frame sampled AA have this off. OpenGL have this on auto. OpenGL rendering GPU. Make sure this is selected on your GPU and not on auto select. We want our GPU selected. Power management mode, this is very important. Make sure this is on perform, prefer maximum performance. We don't want to cap our performance in any way. We want our maximum performance. Preferred refresh rate uh, for your monitor. Make sure this is on highest available. Shader cache size. I have this on 10 gigabytes. Most of you guys are going to probably have this on driver default. I strongly recommend 10 gigabytes as every 10 gigabytes, your shader cache is just going to refresh, which is helpful for your gameplay. Texture filtering I have on, texture filtering negative OLD bias, I have this on allow. Texture filtering quality, we want our quality on high performance. Texture filtering trilinear optimization have on. Threaded optimization auto. Uh, triple buffering we have off, vertical sync off, and virtual reality, all this, we have one off and auto. And that is all the settings for you guys. Of course, the very important ones obviously is your rendering gpu your power management mode your refresh rate cache size and i would say the most important one is your low latency mode make sure this is on ultra for you guys to give the absolute best uh latency you don't you want the lowest latency when playing your game so yeah next up let's go into our third third step here we're going to go down to adjust desktop color settings and this is just going to make your game look a little bit better for you guys uh, i've noticed that on my monitor, when it comes stock without changing any settings, my monitor's colors are pretty terrible. So I have found that the digital vibrance selecting, dragging this over to 75% kind of gives it a nice uh, pop of color and helps me see things better in game that I wouldn't be able to see without it. So I strongly recommend just dragging this over to 75%, hit apply, and that should be good for you guys. And the very last tip I want to give for you guys uh, is down here in the video settings, go to adjust video color settings. And the very last thing is saturation. In my opinion, I like uh, a little bit higher saturation. So I strongly recommend boosting this up. Just kind of drag the dial over. Uh, I like to have it at around 75%. Hit apply. And all this is going to do is, again, boost your colors, make your game look a little more vibrant. 
and it's going to help you see different things in game. It's going to make your game look overall more appealing, uh, especially for clips and for videos for you guys. But yeah, that is basically my NVIDIA control panel settings. This is just a quick video tutorial I wanted to make for you guys. If you found this video helpful in any way, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.